everybody, this is your boy Drew Jeezy, and I am back. When you guessed it, another Power Ranger Lightning Collection review. As you can see by the thumbnail and the title, I am reviewing the, the Lost Galaxy Pink Ranger. Before I start this video, for my first time followers or first time viewers, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit that bell for post notifications. Leave me a thumbs up. Give me plenty of comments. I greatly appreciate it. And shout outs to my to my guy, Ken, aka Back Body Mystery. Make sure y'all check his video out as well, man. He's on YouTube as well. Make sure y'all subscribe to that brother's channel. I'm not sure what his subscriber count is, but I want to try to help him get to 100. So if you guys can, go to his channel. Check out all his mystery boxes, his mystery little stuff that you see and all the Walmart stuff like that. that you can pick up mystery. This Everything by him is mystery. So you don't know what you're going to get with his channel. That's why it's the mystery. That's why it's Back Body Mystery. So make sure y'all check him out. Subscribe to him. Get all the post notifications. Leave comments for him. Greatly appreciate it. Now, back to this review, which is the Money Morphin. I'm sorry. Woo, that's wrong. Lost Galaxy Pink Ranger, as you can see. This is the new Hasbro box artwork. Once again, you guys know I really don't care for it. I'd rather have the ones that you see behind it. But they decided to do it because they're trying to, you know, save money and other stuff they're doing. Once again, I heard it's a rumor that they're going back to the other plastic. I'm not sure, but nevertheless. You see the front of the box. They got the Lost Galaxy Pink Ranger in there, which is pretty cool. Turn to the side. Lost Galaxy Pink Ranger with the emblem at the top with the helmet at the bottom. As it spins around to the back, you can see the poles, the Lost Galaxy Pink Ranger with her accessories. So you know I got a gripe about this, guys, but I'm going to talk about that during the next scene. As you can see, it turns to the side. It has a cool pose there. So like I say, it's a cool box. It's recycled, of course. I really don't care for this box. Like I said, I like the other box that um, it came in before, before this new way, but it is what it is. But enough about this, y'all. I'm going to open this box up, take the Ranger out, take all the accessories out. Put them out on the table, and we're going to take a closer look at the accessories and the Ranger and all its details. You got to stay tuned. All right, you guys, as you can see, I have taken everything out of the box, and we're going to talk about these accessories. Um, So she she comes with quite a few accessories, but you know my biggest gripe about this whole thing? If you guys watched my last video with the Yellow Ranger Lost Galaxy, you guys know exactly what I was complaining about. So I'm going to get to I'm going to talk about these accessories on here you're gonna know exactly what i what i'm complaining about when i get to it but first and foremost gonna start off with these glasses so this is kendrick um the pink lost galaxy ranger so of course they did the same thing they did with the remastered billy version they uh disposable glasses that actually fits on her face pretty cool um nothing too crazy about it then of course this generic lighting effect as usual they give you a lighting effect and at least they could have made it the same color as the ranger because once again this makes no sense to have a blue lighting effect when the ranger is pink i don't know why hasbro keeps doing this guys but they do and i hate it um you guys know i love these hands right here so of course i'm gonna use these hands and that b-roll footage make sure y'all stay to the end of this video and check that b-roll footage out because i got a kind of little surprise for you at the end so yeah i like those hands i am going to use those and then of course we got the the uh, lost galaxy pink ranger helmet I love it. Everything about it is so accurate for the most part. Um, if I didn't know any better, I thought it may be off-centered, but I could be wrong. But nonetheless, it looks good for the most part. Like I said, I'm not going to complain. $24.99. Shout out to Big Bad Toys and shout out to Hasbro. You guys know that's why I shop with the most. I need that sponsorship, y'all. I'm still looking for that. Really appreciate it. Then, of course, you got the Quasar Saber closed. Um, so, pretty cool as well. A uh, nice little icon on the front, trying to get my camera to focus. So it did focus the best way it could. So it does have her uh, icon on the sword as well. Then, of course, they give her a Quasar Saber. Now, you guys know if you watched my last video, the Yellow Ranger doesn't have one. It gave it that stupid cannon. And yes, I'm going to call it stupid. Because if you got to choose between that cannon and the Saber, I'm going to choose the Saber. The Saber looks cool. And that's what the show is based off of, was the Quasar Sabers. So why does my pink... My blue, my green, and my red, excuse me, and my red all have Quasar Sabers, but the Yellow Ranger does not have a Quasar Saber. And yes, they did make two red ones. Yes, they did a two-pack and they did a single pack. I have both. So I'm a little disappointed that they made... So here's the thing. Hasbro always been not consistent. And I thought they was getting better with the consistency. And once again, they go back to square one. So they're probably going to put another Quasar Saber in somebody else if they decide to do whatever they're going to do. And then I have my question to say for the Yellow Ranger. I don't understand that. That's nuts. And then last but not least, they come with this other final weapon. So that's another thing, too. Like, three of my characters got this weapon. The other two got the cannons. I don't understand that. If you're going to do it, do it across the board the exact same way. And if you're going to do it with the cannon, do a whole new five with the help with all the cannons. But 
I'm not gonna complain about that, man. It, it's gonna take up too much time, and I don't have no time for that. Once again, I'm glad my Pink Ranger does have a Quasar Saber. All the accessories do look good, minus the lighting effect. I really wish really it was pink. You know, lightning face is the Master Ranger's colors. But that's it for the accessories, you guys. We're going to put this figure on the turntable, take a look at everything in its entirety, and then give you my rating, and let's show the guy else coming down the pipe. So you guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, you can see I have the pink Lost Galaxy Ranger on the table, and I must say I am very, very impressed with it. Once again, just like the old Ranger, the green, the blue, and the red. Um, I don't see any faults or anything. I think it looks good. So that's one thing they have been consistent on. I guess it's paint for these figures. They're, they're not bleeding anymore that they used to. They'll bleed over. They have spots or a speck or something was missing. They actually have gotten pretty, pretty good with these ranges for the most part. I will say that. I am going to try to put these glasses on her because I want to see how these look with the glasses on. Um, if I can get it on. And I'm assuming these hair... This hair comes up so I can fit it in between. Yep, and it does. So hold on one second. Try to put these glasses on. So Kendrick can look like Kendrick, as you can see. So I'm going to try. So hold on one second. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be challenging. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to worry about the glasses. So, yeah, not going about the glasses. But like I say, she looks good. I do like everything about her. I uh, love the double joint uh, arms. Thank God. They finally listened to us and gave us double jointed arms for the women. So it is on both sides. This was a little more stiff than the other. But it is double jointed. Uh, she does have good shoulder here. Good rotation in the shoulder. So she does get a good full, full bend. Well, not full bend, full stretch. She got good chest motion here. The chest motion here. The bicep does move in both, as you can see. Um, the abdominal crunch, it's okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. But it's pretty good for the most part. I'm not going to complain. The belt, I uh, really wish they made it move, but they didn't, but that's okay. She does have a split on the side. Uh, you can't see it over here, but it's kind of like right here. Uh, double joint knee. Ooh, she is stiff. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> She is super stiff. Let me see. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Okay. So she is super stiff, but she is double jointed her knees. So once again, you guys, this is another one I got through a sponsor. This is my own personal figure. So I'm not going to like go crazy and wreck it. Double joint here and the legs as well. Uh, good kick motion here. It's not bad. Uh, to the side, of course, it's better. She has good thigh motion. Turn here. So all this stuff I'm showing you guys is for postability purposes, just in case you guys didn't know. Um, does turn, the boot does turn as well. Let me get another shot so it does turn. And then the ankle pivots up and down uh, and side to side on both. So once again, it's like I do like this Pink Ranger um, figure for the most part. So let me take this head off and put the Ranger head on if it don't hurt my finger in the process. Trying to put it on without killing my hand. <sighs> okay, so I think I got it on the best way I possibly can. No, and it's not on. Okay, so I'll wait till the next scene. I'll put the regular head back on. You guys will see it with the with the with the head. I don't worry, don't worry about that. I'll put her back on the table so you guys can see her in her entirety. I'm just trying to get her settled. I hate when I do this type of stuff. I start playing with the figure and then. She doesn't want to stand up anymore. So here we go. There we go. Okay. So that's Kendrick, you all. Lost Galaxy Pink Ranger. Um, I give it overall nine. Not I give it 9.5 because it has a Quasar Saber. So I do like the Quasar Saber better than that cannon, that Quasar Cannon that it came with. I think that's a waste and they don't match the lighting effect with none of the Rangers. I think the girls, they do them. Less justice than the guys. They do a blue, they do a red, they do a green. But they won't do a pink, they won't do a yellow. For some of these figures. And I don't understand why. But I get us a 9.5 out of 10. Um, pros, um, great detail. Good stiffness. I like the fact that you can lock in different poses. I love the accessories. Uh, the con, they're inconsistent. Um, putting the glasses on, apparently it's not going to be easy. But I am going to try it. I want to B-roll for the shots. Uh, and see if I get the glasses on, you guys. Um, but like I say, I love everything about Lost Galaxy. That was one of my top three uh, shows of all time was Lost Galaxy. Of course, Mighty Morphin and Zio. 
And then SPD comes an honorable mention. I know that SPD after SPD was fire. Um, what else I got? What else I got going on, you guys? Thank you guys so much for supporting me and rocking with me. I want to thank you all, the viewers, you know, for watching my channel and subscribing to me. And I greatly appreciate it. You guys have been a tremendous help in me pursuing my dream. You helped get me monetized. You guys are gonna help me eventually get to 10,000 subscribers. Of course, get to 50,000, 100,000. Just keep going and going and going. Um, once again, thank you all so much. Once again, you guys, shout out to my man, Bag Body Mystery. Um, once again, you guys, please go to his YouTube page, subscribe to him, hit that bell for post notifications. Check him out, man. It's, his, his channel is actually pretty dope. So you might see us do a collab eventually um, with Bag Body Mystery and Drew Jeezy Collectibles. We might do something together. He might do a mystery unboxing. I might do a review on the mystery unboxing. So you guys pay attention for that, man. We got, I got a lot of stuff in the works. I uh, got um, what... The Fan Expo Con coming in August. Uh, I'll be going to that, giving you guys great content footage. Uh, I'm going to a comic book store again in a couple of weeks. I'm going to get y'all footage on that. Uh, I'm going to a couple of toy collectible stores. I'm going to get y'all footage on that. Uh, like I said, I got a lot of stuff, you guys. Just rock with me, bear with me. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, make sure I pick up that Street Fighter Six. That game is pretty awesome. Final Fantasy Sixteen. I know I got to grab that. Uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff, man. So, you guys, thank you so much. That's the end of this review, you guys. I'm gonna give you my slogan. Before I give you the slogan and give you my YouTube inspirations, y'all know who they are. Y'all been rocking with me all this time. Tall Guy Car Reviews, Mr. Organic, Life of Corey. I mean, the Hellcat CJ on 32s, man. Thank you guys so much. Once again, this is your boy, Drew Jeezy. Competition is always easy. You guys be safe. You guys be blessed. Till next time, you guys, I am out.